Well, good day folks, welcome to my channel. Haven't seen you for a while. I've been off the bike for a week, been over recovery. Uh, the last ride was actually on the 30th of March. It's 8th of June as we recorded this. Only yesterday did I get back on my bike and do, uh, do a quick local loop. I just needed a bit of time off the bike. Uh, as you know, with this lockdown, I've just had so many opportunities to ride my bike, it's been unreal. I'm gonna show you some stats from June on the screen right now, actually. As you can see, I'm pretty sure I've been over two and a half thousand kilometers in June and 24,000 meters of climbing, which uh, is crazy numbers, isn't it? My target elevation for June was actually, 20, was actually 25,000, but uh, by the end of it, I just had enough that uh, I didn't care anymore. So again, welcome to the channel, especially if you're doing just join us for the first time. This week is actually bike week here in the UK. It started on Sunday, Saturday, sorry, on the 6th of June, and runs all the way to the 14th. So if you're not seeing my channel before, so just me going out riding my bike, different places. Not all, not just when the sun's out. A bit gloomy today, it's quite mild though. But uh, yeah. As I was just uh, saying to them just then, with the lockdown being on, I've been so much riding recently, and I'm on bit of furlough as well. It's been a huge my days, so I have been avoiding the rain. So let me tell you a little bit about today's route. So I left my home in Kroll, just heading down to Lincoln. I'm going to be taking the NCN 64 towards Lincoln City Centre. Then I'll be heading north along the uh, Fosdyke Canal Path. I haven't been there before, but it looks okay online. Uh, today I'm on the Cube, so I've only got 25C wheels on. So I won't be looking for gravel. And if I am on gravel, it would be very light. Funny enough, as I was just uh, planning what to say to camera, I just remembered on the route, I did actually plan in an ice country ride, a uh, country path through uh, Lordton Woods, which is relatively close to home, local roads. So on this bike, I certainly won't be going that way. As regular viewers to my channel will know by watching the uh, last few videos, this is now, now my uh, number two bike. My uh, Sonda Calibri, which is at home at the moment. Well, today's ride is w under 100 miles, so I'm sticking to the cube. So again, if you've uh, just started watching the channel or perhaps you're a new cyclist don't be put off by the uh, amount of distance I do I mean we all start somewhere I've only been cycling what five years and I first started out by just uh, commuting to from work uh, it was 10 miles so not a particularly short distance but I did do it overnight I built myself up to it and eventually you know started one day a week going to from work eventually all the way through the year, five days a week. I can't believe it. The money I saved as well by doing that. Just, it's got so healthy, it's shed loads of weight. So if you're all just starting your cycling journey, it doesn't come easy, but uh, rewards and benefits in terms of health and money you can save and how it makes you feel inside. It's all worth it in the end. Some of the first little Landmark on this ride will be at Church Laydham. There's a lovely riverside area there where you can sit down and have a picnic if you've bought one, which I haven't. I've got a cereal bar and banana today, uh, an energy bar. That's my complete total. And to be honest, Church Laydham is still pretty uh, close home, so too early to stop there. Well, look at this as well, I've not shaved in. I know, maybe four weeks. It looks like six to eight weeks, but I've shaved the last month, I'm sure I have. I don't know, where are the, where are the days and weeks going? In fact, I quite like it. And right now, I don't see many people, so I might just keep it. It's quite hard to believe that it is a summer right now. Well, June the 8th. If you ask me, summer starts on the 21st on the solstice. But, a lot of people 
It's only June the 1st, so we'll go with that. Temperature difference between now and the last few weeks is quite well, silly. It's like 10 degrees today. Luckily, luckily the wind's not cold though. There's not much of it. And what there is is behind me, which is always good news for a few new or an old cyclist. Although today, yesterday, yesterday I went for a quite short workout. I think it was less than 30 miles. Uh, I got around it in uh, my average was 28 kilometers an hour and I've not like, done that sort of speed for that length of time which was about an hour and 45 I've not done that for a good two or three months I've been uh, obviously doing a lot of endurance riding distances and harder climbs and things like that I've not been worried about my uh, average speed too much just been lots of leisure touring and things like that that's not to say I've not been trying to keep my uh, average speed up because it's always uh, pretty close to the uh, front of my mind. I can never turn off. Luckily being on the cube though, I have a uh, crank-based power meter. So it's great to see that again. Just a few more numbers or watts. And uh, the average RPM as well because uh, Last few rides, the one on my Calibri, the battery was dead, so. So yes, it's June the 8th today. So hopefully, fingers crossed, although my confidence in it happening is not incredibly high, but hopefully within a month or just over, I'll be able to go and do Lance Enter Jolly Groats. Although it's all about timing with the lockdown and furlough and everything out, so who knows what is going to happen. Like I say, fingers crossed. A couple of people on bikes over took me on the main road. <clears throat> and there's cars coming behind. And uh, I almost forgot the words. Car back, or car, car up, or car down. It's, just, it's been ages of ages since I've had to utter any of those sort of words. Because um, most of my riding is solo. I'd like to uh, perhaps engage and ride with a few more right people in the Crawl or North Lincolnshire area and join them. Once, once group riding's, I know it's sort of allowed at the moment, but you know, I, know, I did start joining a Saturday one from Jay's Cycle Shack. I don't know if that's still going, I might find out this weekend actually. Okay, here we are at Church Laydham. Usually quite nice here, here we sit down. I like it because it's just the way you come out the trees and suddenly you see the river. Beautiful spot that. Even more so when the sun's out, but today I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping today, it's dull. Now I am heading along the NCN 64. A light gravel end of Fledborough Viaduct. Takes you all the way into Lincoln city centre. It's great, it's great actually. If you live anywhere in Retford, that kind of area, back to going somewhere a little bit further. You know, if you're used to like 20 mile by rides, that sort of thing, it's worth considering this one. It's all traffic free, you have to worry about cars. And despite the light gravel, it does actually turn into tarmac pretty soon, actually. And it's got lovely views around Lincoln as you ride alongside the river with them. <clears throat> now there's one thing I just wanted to share with you. How annoying along trails like this. <laughs> there's not many things that do annoy me, but this has got to be top of the list. And it's people on bikes with a dog on a lead. I mean, come on. You, you can't do both. It's not possible. And. Uh, they never move out of the way very quickly. Well, they can't, can they? You're either walking your dog or you're riding a bike. You don't do both. Sorry. I realise you can't tell people what they can and can't do, but that one's a bit like, some might say, having pineapple on a pizza.
You are here. There you go. So when you follow him, the Fosdyke Canal Trail. Crossing over there is the A15, I think it is. And then turn into Odder. And up towards Boxholm, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to follow the path that way. Uh, eventually up to Boxholm, get to Stowe, the village of Stowe. It's a great cafe there called Tilbridge. What's it called? Tilbridge Cakes or something like that? I can't remember. It's really, really nice though. I've only been to it once, it was amazing. <coughs> so when that when the start's opening again, I'll be going there. After a week off the bike, I just wanted to ease myself in, really. As I say, I've gone with uh, stem cell back today, pumping the banana, my arm covers if it should rain. Um, I've also got a couple in the tubes in there, multi tool. Just the essentials really. Beautiful canal trail this. Surface is okay as well. I just love it when uh, you're going down nice little country lane like this, all the lovely cut grass down the side. Oncoming car refuses to ride on the grass and goes straight at you. Leaves you hardly any room down the side. Another reason why, apart from <laughs> putting in the route, of course, that I remembered Roxham is because uh, of last year's Lincoln Grand Prix. Um, parked up in Stowe, Sturton Stowe, I think it's Paul Davies, and started the commute to the centre of Lincoln from there and turned it into a 200 kilometre Audax DIY. So I started coming through here first thing in the morning and ended getting back to the car through here. So because I've enjoyed myself going home into a headwind, I thought I'd just stop for a moment to talk about a couple or three purchases I'm going to have to make. So um, this firstly is the uh, saddle. <clears throat> I switched, basically when I bought the uh, Sonder, I switched over the saddles. So this is uh, the Love Mud Abode. And to be honest, I've um, got quite a fat ass. So I need to order a charge pan uh, saddle. It's a bit wider for my buttocks. So uh, that's uh, sort of an immediate purchase I'm going to have to make really, pretty soon. It's getting this bit uncomfortable. Uh, the other thing I need, I need to get is, if you take a look, I've got a hole in my shoe. It's not good, is it? That's because they've not trimmed my nails. <laughs> and they've got a hole in the top of my shoe. Anyway, um, I'm going to need two pairs though, because this bike and the Sunder, they've both got different cleats, uh, different pedals. Um, my Sunder ones are white. <laughs> She's not going to be very good in the autumn, winter time when it gets colder and dirtier. So I need two pairs, but that can wait a little while, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's always things to buy. Whether it's saddles, less so, shoes, clothes. These are starting to wear. These bib shorts are starting to wear. I won't show you those. <laughs> Look at my bike. All this dry mud. I need to uh, give it a good wash this afternoon when I get back. Just been a bit lazy. Decided to uh, nip into Blyton to the uh, award winning Blyton Dairy Ice Cream Shop. Oh, it's nice to see it open actually. And uh, as you can see, not busy at all. And they've got one bench, literally one bench you can sit. So you'll be fighting over that. If you come here as a cafe stop mid ride because the whole thing's closed off, unfortunately. So just left Blyton's ice creams, that was a lovely treat that. Have you ever noticed on your Wahoo or your Garmin, I guess it's just a side effect of GPS really. If you go into the woods, you often find your device won't be able to calculate your speed, how fast you're going. And it can be quite a big difference, I've noticed it drop a good 10k. It's funny how the Forestry Commission continued throughout the lockdown. Apparently, Destruction of the planet is essential work. So there we go, that's the uh, routing mistake from earlier. I'd love to have got through the woods actually, just not on this bike. 
Right, it's nearly over. I'm just going through Beltoft. One more village to go. And then being crawl. So it's been a great ride. Certainly noticed a bit more traffic about. Certainly noticed bad drivers are back on the road yet again. As always, the uh, ride around Kidby Bridge, up the side of Trent into the headwind. It was pretty nasty, pretty nasty, but uh, I managed to uh, keep my watch up, so very pleased, very pleased. That's the bonus of doing shorter rides. You know, you've not got far to get home. So from the flat agricultural lands of uh, North Lincolnshire, that's it for another video. Got any questions? As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscription button as well. Got a massive back catalogue of videos that you can go look through if you have the time. Any questions, put them down below. Always enjoy a bit of feedback and uh, makes me feel uh, like this is all worthwhile, really. Get a bit of feedback, whether it's good or bad. Anyway, for me, take care. Enjoy your rest of your week. See you later. Bye-bye.